Hey everybody, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I want to go ahead and get started on our mini Evans art project, okay? So, first things first, you're going to take your paper and you're going to fold it in half like a hot dog, okay? So take your blank sheet of paper and go ahead and fold it in half. That's going to create that line of symmetry we're looking for, okay? Remember we are focusing on symmetry and value for this project. Now, I already went ahead and started half of my work. And the reason I have it on one side is because I wanted to get my design and composition down on one side and then repeat it on this side because we are trying to create symmetry. So that means if I have two leaves here, I'm gonna need two here. If I have my eye here, which is kind of like a flower eye because remember, Minnie Evans creates some um, art from like her imagination and her dreams. So something kind of different. So I have my flower eye and I'll repeat that here. And I have my realistic flower that I'd repeat and again, my leaf, okay? So whatever you do on one side, you have to recreate on the other, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you how I did my like abstract flower eye and I'm gonna also show you how I did my real realistic flower, okay? And I believe that y'all can do your own leaves. Your leaves do not have to look like mine and your art project is, doesn't have to look like mine. All I want you to do is focus, focus on creating symmetry on each side and learning how to use value in your work, okay? So those are our main goals. Yours does not have to look like mine. Now, you are going to create a border that will represent your art. So what do I mean by that? Now, if I was going to start, you're gonna come up with your own border. Remember, we have that line of symmetry down the middle, right? So we're gonna be thinking about that. I could start on one side coming with a crazy wavy line and you gotta repeat that on the other side, okay? And this is where it gets tricky. You might have to do some erasing and sketching back over till it is perfect. And what do you do when you finally get it the exact way you want it? Just erase those lines, okay? So try your best to get it as symmetrical as possible. Okay, so that's what I mean by a border. Now, I'm gonna show you how I drew my flowers, and then we're gonna learn about how to create value in our work, okay? So, starting off with the flower eye, my kind of abstract flower. I'm gonna think about like a lemon shape first for the eyeball. And I just do a curved line. And then I repeat that and connect it, okay? Now, I'm just gonna do my flower petals. And up top. They're kind of like the eyelashes in a way. All right, so let's get our eyelids now. And so now you have your abstract eye, if that's what you want to use. A realistic flower, okay? I came up kind of with a curve. So you can come up, start with your first line, and your second, okay? And then for the petals, I kind of just do like a, a natural wavy line, and I make each one kind of different. So I'm just kind of coming up, and I'm kind of like in a pizza shape, right? Think about a slice of pizza, but it's wavy. Okay, and then I go on and add a little detail to it, and I put some lines in the petals. Okay, and then you can add your leaves. All right, so that's how I did my two flowers, one realistic and one kind of abstract. 
Now, let's focus on value. You can use color pencil or um, crayons for this project. It is up to you. I have my color pencils. I'm gonna get me a red, a yellow, and an orange, okay? I'm gonna have my flower go from red to yellow. And then for my leaves, I'm gonna get a dark green and a light green, okay? I'm gonna blend those together to, to create that smooth value. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. And remember, yours doesn't have to look like mine, but let's focus on using value in our work. We'll start with our leaves. I'm gonna start with the center being dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this in with my dark green. I'm gonna go ahead and get my light green. And I'm going to begin to color this all in. Now, I have my dark green, I have my light green, but I wanted to have a smooth transition from dark to light, because right now, you can see this line. So I wanna smooth it out. So now I'm going to take the dark green and I'm going to kind of lightly go into that light green. I'm being very light with my colored pencil right now. Okay, and now I'm going to go back over with my light and go into that. And I'm going to be a little bit heavier because this is my lighter color, right? I'm just trying to blend these colors together to create this smooth transition of the value. And lastly, very lightly. I'm being extra light. And again, I'm gonna come in and be a little bit heavier because this is my lighter color. And it's gonna blend these together nice and smooth. Okay, so we have our leaves done. We can go to the flower now and I'll show you how I would do this. I'm gonna start with the ends being red. I'm going to go ahead and do two. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my orange and go into the red a little bit. And then I'm going to take my yellow and go into the orange a little bit, okay? And again, I want to create that smooth transition. So what I'm going to do is lightly take that red into the orange and take that orange into the red. And take my yellow into the orange. I'm actually going to take the yellow and color the whole thing. That will help blend it all together nice and smooth. Okay, so now we have our petals. For my stem of my flower, I'm going to kind of do the same thing I did for the leaves. I want the center of it to be dark and then it go out to light. Okay. And again, I'm going to come back with my darker color and lightly go into the light the light green. And then repeat, get my light green, and go over the dark and the light again. 
to make that nice smooth blend. And lastly, one more time. All right, y'all. So there's some, a few blending techniques for y'all to create your value to make your artwork look more realistic. Now let's review. You're gonna to need to create your border. You're gonna work on one side first, get it down and obviously use pencil first so you can erase. Get down your ideas, practice first. And then once you have your one side complete, you can repeat that on the other side. So I'm going to have my realistic flower here, just like this. I'm going to have my leaf here, my abstract flower eye here, and my last two leaves here. For my background, I think I'm going to do some value from dark to light, but I don't know what color I want to use yet. I might do red to a very light pink, okay? I will put a picture up of how my work turned out once it's completed. Now, it's your turn to use your own creativity, your imagination, to come up with your own mini Evans-inspired art piece. I hope y'all had fun today.